the hope that we'll be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Hello everyone and fellow dreamers, welcome back to my channel, Lauren's Floating Lights. Today, the subject of the video is going to be my top 10 items on my CRP bucket list. When I go out on the cultural representative program in December, I'm going to be doing my best to tick off all of these things during my 12 months. So let's get into it. Number one on my bucket list is to stay at the brand new Disney's Riviera Resort. It is absolutely unbelievable. Me and my friend Cass, also known as Cats Neverland, she came with me to visit the resort when we did a trip in January. We actually went separately and ended up meeting up and we explored the resort. It is absolutely stunning and they have the very popular Peter Pan and Tangle mosaics, which is a dream. And I would absolutely love to stay there. It is a highly, highly rated resort at Disney. As I said, it is brand new. So of course that is on the list. During my first programme, my resort bucket list was actually to stay at all of the Magic Kingdom loop resorts. So this included the Contemporary, um, Grand Floridian and also the Polynesian, which I did manage to tick off all of those. So the Riviera is at the top of my resort list this time. The second item on my CRP bucket list is to go back to Disneyland, California. It is the most special original Disney park I've ever stepped into. It's absolutely amazing. The characters wander around. They usually roam free. I'm not sure what it's like now due to COVID, um, but there are a lot of things at Disneyland that I've never experienced in another Disney park. So to be able to go back there to Disneyland Park itself and Disneyland California would be amazing. But if I wasn't to go back there, I would definitely do my first ever Disney cruise. If you've ever done a Disney cruise, please comment and let me know your thoughts. I've heard wonderful things from pirate nights to Rapunzel themed restaurants. Disney cruises seem like the most wonderful experience. I did manage to go on the Disney dream for a day on my first program because my friend did work on the dream. So that was amazing to be able to experience that for a whole day from a guest perspective. Um, but I've never actually done a cruise before in my life so I'd love to know if you recommend the Disney cruises as that is on my bucket list as well as Disneyland California probably one or the other. Number three on the bucket list is actually in my home park of Epcot and that of course is to ride the new Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind roller coaster. It looks absolutely incredible like mind-blowingly good. I've avoided all spoilers though so I don't know how the ride works or what happens on the ride. I know about the carts moving and also people getting motion sickness, but that is everything because I want to experience the ride for myself. I'll be sure to leave a review of my thoughts over on Lauren's Floating Lights, my Instagram, but I won't spoil it. I won't tell you what happens on the ride or anything like that because I think everyone deserves to experience it themselves. Number four is of course to see the return of Disney's Festival of Fantasy Parade in real life. The last time I saw that parade was back in 2019 and it means a lot to me. I love cheering for the characters, especially the tangle flow, of course, and the music just like makes me feel so happy. I don't know about you, but it really does. And also, as well as Festival of Fantasy, we are waiting so hopefully for the return of Fantasmic at Disney's Hollywood Studios, which also brings me into number five, which is to do another backstage tour when I'm a cast member. So on my first program, I was the luckiest person in the whole world to be able to have a Fantasmic backstage tour. So we were able to go onto the Steamboat Willy boat. We were able to go up onto the mountain. We were able to see the costumes backstage everything we saw it all and it honestly was one of the most magical moments of my first program so to be able to do another backstage tour would be wonderful i am praying <laughs> praying on the haunted mansion that would make my whole life <laughs> number six is to work a marathon shift at the uk pavilion so this is basically where you get up super early go to work in the uk and cheer on the runners running through Epcot at the time. Number seven is actually very common. A lot of people have done this and I've never done it. 
So at Christmas, they turned the Jungle Cruise and Magic Kingdom into the Jingle Cruise. And I've never ridden it at Christmas time just because the queues are insane. Number eight is to experience a Flamingo Crossings welcome event. So this is where I'll be living at Disney Housing. And basically Flamingo Crossings hosts tons of welcome events every month for brand new cast members. And recently they did a Tangled one. And I definitely want to make the most of this because when you accept your contract, you do pay a program participation fee on the cultural representative program. So this money goes towards events at housing, other things as well, but I definitely want to make the most of the events. Bucket list item number nine is to receive my Walt Disney World 50th anniversary name tag, which is so special. They're completely different to the normal name tags that I had as a cast member last time. And it's just like a once in a lifetime opportunity to have that name tag. And I'm sure when I get given that at Traditions, I will probably cry my heart out. And number 10, the final item on my CRP bucket list for 2022 and 2023 is something that I did every day on my first programme. And this was saying good morning Space of Earth and good night to Space of Earth every single time I saw it. I love Space of Earth, it's my favourite Disney icon um, in the parks. I know a lot of people love Cinderella Castle, or the Tree of Life or the Chinese Theatre at Hollywood Studios, but mine is Spaceship Earth forever and always, and I can't wait to say good morning Spaceship Earth and good night to Spaceship Earth on my way to and from work and on my days off. And there we have it, my CRP bucket list for 2022 and 2023. I would love to know what would be on your Walt Disney World bucket list. What ride would you like to do? What event would you like to go to? What would you want to see in the parks if you were visiting? and something that you might have not done before or something you'd love to do again. And make sure you do subscribe and follow along on my CRP journey. And for now, have a magical day and see you real soon.